In this video, you will learn how to import a cross-stitch graph into the cross-stitch program to use it as a backdrop for digitizing cross-stitch. The design that I'm using came from MrCrossStitch.com. Always check with the publisher or designer to make sure it is okay to scan cross-stitch graphs. Before we scan, go to Options, General tab, and make sure you have selected Corel Photo Paint for touching up artwork, and then click OK. Go to Artwork Canvas, click on Scan Artwork, and your scanner will initialize. Now there are three settings that you'll want to make sure that you set before you scan. You want a color document. You want to make sure and scan at the actual size. And this cross stitch graph is eight and a half by 11. You can also change the resolution. Where you change these settings will depend on your scanning software. I click on scan and the scanner will begin scanning the document. The document is scanned, I select done, and the graph will appear on my screen. Now this graph has a white border around it and I wanna crop that white border. So I'll go to my crop tool, which is with the eraser tool, and click in the corner of the graph and drag to the lower right corner. I wanna zoom in because I wanna make sure and crop this graph right on the line. If you did not scan straight, you'll want to leave a slight border around this so you can straighten the graph if you need to and then recrop it. This graph was scanned in fairly straight, so I'm not going to have to straighten it, but I will show you how to straighten it. Once you get the lines aligned with the edge, just double click to set the crop. Select the image if you need to straighten it and click on edit artwork. This will open the image in Corel Photo Paint. Go to adjust and straighten image and you can change the grid on the image if it makes it easier to see the grid lines. Now you can see that the image is straight, but if it wasn't straight, I can use the slider bar to rotate the image and then recrop it if necessary and go OK. Then you'll click on Finish Editing, Save the Changes, Close Corel Photo Paint, and the image is back in Artwork Canvas. Select File, Export, navigate to the location to save and name the design, and count the squares on your graph and enter the width and the height of your cross stitches and click on export. In the dialog box that opens, click OK, and you can delete the image, return to Embroidery Canvas, go to Applications, and select Cross Stitch. Now, if you have not calibrated your screen, in cross stitch, you can go to settings and display setup, measure the width of the dialog box and the height and enter the dimensions in screen calibration and click OK. Go to the picture mode, select load picture and navigate to the location of your saved scan. Select the scan and click on open. Right click on the image and enter the number of crosses in the width, the number of crosses in the height, and click OK. You'll see now that the image aligns with the crosses on your cross stitch screen and you are now ready to digitize the picture. 